Hey everyone, today we are doing a nice long yin practice. In this practice, we'll be staying in certain stretches for long periods of time, really getting into your deep fascia, your deep connective tissues, um, which allow you to have greater flexibility um, and more range of motion after working through certain scar tissue and just really dense muscle tissue. You don't need anything for this practice, just a cushiony mat and maybe a pillow so you can kind of relax. Uh, nothing else, let's get started. All right, so we're pretty much gonna be on our mat the entire time, just during doing rather certain stretches um, right on the ground. So we're gonna start off pretty simple. And you're just gonna extend your legs in front of you in sort of a forward fold, but we're not gonna quite forward fold yet. Willow might hang out with us today, so <laughs> we'll see if she wants to. Inhale, raise your hands up and into the sky and cross your right ankle on top of your left. Inhale and just kind of push your heart forward. And you might already start to feel the stretch in your IT band in your side leg. <laughs> Flex your toes, pull them back towards you. Inhale, exhale. Now you will start to gently fold forward. It's all right if your fingertips just kind of land on your thighs, on your knees. Maybe you try and reach for your toes. So yin stretches typically last one to three minutes. So in each stretch, that's about the range that we're going to remain in. Inhale. And with each exhale, you're going to slowly fold a little bit deeper. No, don't do that. Slowly roll up to sit. And now raise your hands up and into the sky. Use your core to sit as tall as you possibly can. And then you're just going to, excuse me, well, you're just going to place your left ankle on top of your right. Flex your toes, pull them back toward you. Inhale. Exhale, begin to fold forward. You can let your head hang as you breathe. In these yin stretches, we deeply release any of the tension, any of the, the anger, the <laughs> the past disagreements, the insecurities. We force blood flow to come into these muscles, into these areas, so that we can, <laughs> they can then flow and remove as we exhale. Slowly roll up to sit. Raise your hands up and into the sky. And bend your knees, take your knees toward your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Cross your ankles and just lie on your back. And we're gonna to start with a more gentle hip stretch. So bend your right knee, place your right, knee, uh, right ankle on top of your left knee, and then pull your thigh towards you, a figure four stretch. You could grab onto your left thigh, your left shin, but flex your right toes. <laughs> 
two more breaths. Keep your right toe flexed. Slowly, you're gonna roll up to sit with your right ankle still on top of your left knee. And then place your left, um, your right foot towards the inside of your left thigh. We're gonna do a deep side stretch. So inhale, raise your right arm up and into the sky. Exhale, tilt over to your left. Feel that expansion of your whole side body. And breathe. You could really come into this side split as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like. Just make sure that your armpit, your left, uh, I keep saying your left, your right elbow is open towards the sky and you're not kind of slouching here. If your neck starts to feel a little strained, you can look down towards the ground. Now I'm holding on to my right ankle. You could also reach for your left. Slowly, slowly come to sit. Scoot onto your butt again. And you're gonna slowly make your way back onto your back. This time, your left ankle can go on top of your right knee. Flex your left toes and then just pull your left, uh, your right thigh toward you. Breathe here. Really send your breath to the space where you feel this stretch. Clear it out. Clear out the black smoke of guilt, negativity, anger, doubt. Let's do two more breaths here. Slowly roll up to sit, keeping your left ankle on the inside of your right thigh. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Got all the dogs today. Okay. Now you're going to flex your right toes, keep your left foot on the inside of your right leg. I hope you can see. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Inhale, raise your left arm up and into the sky, and then tilt over to your right side. They really want to be a part of the in practice today. Okay. All right. Good boy. Now breathe here. Again, you can reach for your left ankle or your right. You can look up to the sky, up to the clouds, or down to the soil.
One more breath. And exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Come back up to seated. Bring your knees together and then slide them backwards. Come to sit onto your ankles. This one we're only gonna stay in for a minute. If you are uncomfortable staying here for a minute, totally okay, it's very intense. Um, so as you sit on your ankles here, you might actually already feel that stretch in your shin and the top of your foot, which is okay. You're just going to remain here for the time. But if you want a little bit more intensity, you're gonna to start to rise your knees. And that's it, that's all we're gonna do. I know it's very intense, come out sooner than uh, a minute, but either way, let's breathe here. We're almost there. And slowly come forward into tabletop position and just tap your toes against the ground. Now you're gonna flex your toes, push the pads of your toes backwards, and slowly hinge back until you're seated on your ankles. However, you could come anywhere from your tabletop right here, slowly back along that gradient. Whenever you feel the stretch in your foot and your toes, stop. The stretch is amazing for plantar fasciitis and ankle immobility. It will help you gain greater strength and greater flexibility in your ankles and obviously your feet. So again, we're gonna remain here for about 40 seconds and just breathe. Okay, slowly come forward, tap your toes against the ground, just breathe here. Okay, we're gonna come into a lunge, just a classic low lunge here, um, but we're gonna remain here for about two minutes. Step your, let's do your left first. So step your left foot forward and slowly make your way into your low lunge. Left hip back, right hip forward, and you're gonna place your hands on the inside of your left foot. And this is it. If you need a pillow or a more cushiony surface beneath your right knee, go grab that, put it under your knee, and then we're gonna breathe. If you like, you can also come onto your forearms if that's comfortable for you.
going to take two more breaths here. Slowly make your way up, pull your heart forward, inhale, and exhale. We're just going to switch. So again, there's no real, <laughs> there's no real flow um, to this. We are just doing deep yin stretches. Okay. Again, find your low lunge on your right side, pull your right hip back, left hip forward, and then hands to the insides of your right foot. You can stay on your fore, uh, on your hands, or you can come down onto your forearms. Whatever is comfortable for you. And breathe. Try and relax your shoulders as much as you can. Two more breaths. And slowly make your way out of your lunge. The next stretch we're gonna do is a classic. It is pigeon pose for your outer hip um, and your deep uh, glute muscles. So we're gonna start with your left side. Extend your right foot behind you, bend your left knee. Now you're gonna slide your left knee forward until you start to feel the stretch. Now your left ankle can be close to your right hip flexor or more in line with your knee. Wherever you are, it's beautiful, I just want you to feel that stretch. Inhale, flex your left toe, exhale, begin to fold forward. You can relax your head here onto your forearms or even onto the ground and just breathe. We're going to take two more breaths here. And slowly come onto your left hip, swing your right leg around, and we're just going to switch sides. So you're going to bend your right knee, straighten out your left behind you, <laughs> wherever you can. Inhale. Exhale, begin to fold. Again, your right ankle can be anywhere from in towards your hip to in line with uh, your right knee. You can come onto your forearms or just relax. <laughs> relax on your uh, belly. Hey. Okay, so I had to let the dogs out. Let's get back to it. <laughs>
Okay, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, come onto your right hip, swing around. Now we're going to do one of my favorite stretches. Um, it's called deer pose. You're going to bring your right knee, uh, bend your right knee, place your right ankle next to you. And if this is uncomfortable at any point, you're going to just straighten out your bent knee, okay? But for now, bend your right knee and begin to slowly hinge onto your back. Now here, you can place a pillow under your back, um, under your hips, wherever is comfortable for you. But from here, you could just remain. Just breathe, feel the stretch. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can reach for your left thigh and breathe. We're gonna stay here for about one minute to two minutes. You can kind of play around here, okay? Again, extend your right knee if it gets uncomfortable, but you can begin to straighten out your left leg if you're feeling a little crazy and breathe. One more breath. And you can slowly let your left toes touch the ground and roll yourself up, guide yourself up to sit. Extend your leg out in front of you, your left leg. Inhale, raise your hands. Oop. Exhale, fold. And exhale and slowly roll back up to sit. Extend your right leg out in front of you. Bend your left knee in towards your side. Same thing, guide yourself onto your back. Bend your right knee, adjust your hips. You don't want too much of a curve in your low back, but it is naturally going to happen. And you can remain here or take hold of your right thigh. You want to get a little crazy you can straighten out your right knee and just kind of see how that feels Two more breaths. And 
and let go of your right thigh and guide yourself to sit. You can flex your right toes here or not, but raise your hands up. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Exhale, slowly roll up to sit. And we're going to just come into whatever seated position is comfortable for you. I like to sit on my ankles, but that's just me. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some arm stretches. Um, the first one is a little bit tough. So if you have a sock, a strap, even a sweater or a scarf um, to hold onto with your hands, that would be lovely. Otherwise, just use your strength to reach for your fingertips. So this one's called cow face pose. I'm gonna show you. Um, so you're gonna reach your left arm up in between your shoulder blades like you're trying to scratch an itch. As close as your left elbow can get to your left ribs. And then reach your right hand towards your left fingertips. Again, it's okay if your fingers don't reach one another. Totally okay. We're just gonna breathe here or for just one minute. <laughs> Honestly, my shoulders are pretty tight, so this is tough for me too. But just close your eyes and breathe here, feeling the wave of your energy unreleasing. Like water finally rushing into a drought. Two more breaths. And release. Draw some circles with your left arm one way. And then the other. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again. I'll show you. Reach your right arm up in between your shoulder blades. Left fingertips reach for your right. And really use your head to push away your left elbow and breathe. Two more breaths. And slowly, slowly release. Draw circles with your right arm, front and back. Our last stretch today is a lovely puppy dog pose where you will open up your heart. So into tabletop, extend your fingertips forward and slide your glutes back until your chest maybe touches the ground or almost touches the ground. Um, and then you're gonna flip your hand until your pinky and your kind of your side of your hand is on the ground rather than your palm. Slide your fingers forward and slowly drop into your puppy pose.
slowly slide your fingers back to meet you. And we're just gonna take three deep breaths together. And for once and for all, flowing and sweeping away everything that we we unlocked and we kind of scraped at. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, roll your shoulders up to your ears, down your back. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that you feel a little bit more loose, a little bit more open and, and free. <laughs> Have a great day, bye. Too loud. Okay. Well, come here. Come here. Hey everyone, today we practice where we'll just be doing long stretch uh, <laughs> belly. Hey.